first we need a donor and a recipient. So I have serum that's already been centrifuged uh, from our donor. So Chunk is our donor and Rita is our recipient. Uh, and I also have centrifuged an EDTA sample from both animals. So now what I will do is remove the I'm going to remove the plasma from each sample and discard that so it leaves only our packed red blood cells at the bottom. So Rita's sample is only the packed red blood cells now and in a test tube, no additive test tube, I'm going to add two drops of packed red blood cells to the tube. I'm going to repeat the same process again for the donor sample. Okay, so now both tubes have two drops of the packed red blood cells from our EDTA sample. I have a syringe filled with saline. I'm going to fill up the test tubes with the saline. I'm going to centrifuge these samples for one minute, about 3400 RPM. So I'm going to go ahead and set a timer and I will be back. Okay, so after one minute of centrifugation, uh, you can see that our uh, packed red blood cells are at the bottom, which is what we want. And now I'm going to just decant the supernatant saline from each sample. And I'm going to add saline again to each test tube and centrifuge at least two more times to make sure these red blood cells are good and washed. Close the cap and gently invert both of these tubes. So once the completed washing is performed, we'll see what happens. Okay, so our final wash is completed. So now I'm going to decant the supernatant from our donor and recipient samples. Our recipient is Rita. We have 0.98 ml of saline that we're going to place into Rita's final wash. No additive test tube. And then we're going to draw 0.2, excuse me, 0 0.02 ml of packed red blood cells. And add that. Okay, so we have 0.02 packed red blood cells that we're going to stick in there. And we're going to repeat the same process with our donor. Okay, so there's our recipient 
final wash. Okay, here are our final wash samples for our donor, Chunk, and our recipient, Rita. Total of one ml of fluid. To perform our major cross match, we're going to take two drops of our recipient serum and add it with the red blood cell wash from our donor. Two drops of each into a clean test tube that we've labeled major. I'm just going to invert this gently to mix. To perform the minor cross match, we're going to take two drops of our donor serum and add it to two drops of our recipient final wash. So now we have our major and our minor cross match tubes. To check for auto agglutination, we're going to make a control for our donor and our recipient. So we're going to add two drops of our recipient serum to two drops of our recipient erythrocyte wash and make a control for our recipient patient. And we will do the same exact process with our donor serum and our donor erythrocyte wash. And then we're going to let it incubate for 30 minutes before we centrifuge it. We're going to centrifuge our minor, our major, and both of our controls all together. Okay, so our control samples have been centrifuged for one minute after sitting um, at room temperature for 30. Um, it does not appear that there's any agglutination um, that I can see with my naked eye, um, but that's why we're going to go ahead and get a drop of our suspension and check it microscopically to make sure that there is no agglutination and that the donors are going to be compatible. Okay, so I've got my minor cross match sample on the microscope slide. Now place a drop of our major cross match sample. If agglutination is present under magnification not Rouleau, but agglutination, true agglutination, then we need to find a different donor to use for Miss Rita. Okay. Lower this condenser so I can see. Going to check microscopically okay and it appears that there is in fact no agglutination there's no reload everything is swimming around freely as it should and that is great no agglutination of our red blood cells, which is wonderful. I'm going to check our 
major here. And I see, again, no evidence of agglutination, which is awesome. So based on these results, I would say that Chunk and Rita are compatible for blood transfusion. So we will go ahead and get blood from Chunk that we can use for Rita.